to my channel. So I was watching videos tonight, couldn't sleep. It's like three in the morning. And I watched um, Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out do some coasters with some chameleon pigments where she wrapped the cellophane, not wrapped it, but gathered it up in the resin and oh my gosh, they were beautiful. So I said, I have those pigments. So, I have quite a few here. I don't know which one to choose. So I have Goldie Rocks, South Beach, that's Goldie Rocks also. Um, don't Fuchsia Around. Um, let me open them so I can show you. That's Don't Fuchsia Around. This is Aurelian Lights. It looks like that might be a little red in that gold. Uh, plums the word. I know I'm gonna do this because this is like a blue or a green. I'm not sure. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Uh, so we're definitely doing this one. I'm not sure about these two. Uh, Rainbow Nori. Uh, I'm so definitely doing this. That one is that one's insane. That is probably going to look totally different once the black's behind it. And then, uh, Sparkling Jade. So that looks like that's green and gold. I'm almost out of this one. So I definitely want to do that one too. Um, Sylvia's Dreams. Oh, that's really pretty also. Let's see. These two are super similar, but I doubt once the black's behind it, it's gonna look the same. So, oh, I don't know which one I should do. I'll do more good later. I wanna do these two. So, we're gonna do the rainbow nail, that black and green sparkling jade. Thumbs the Word, and Sylvia's Dreams. So we're gonna do those four. I hate to waste resin practice, you know, experimenting, but I wanna see which ones I want a whole set of, so it only makes sense. doing an ocean chartreuse board earlier so you gotta excuse this that video will be coming soon and it is gorgeous okay. so I mixed up 200 saying I've got to put my respirator on because every time I heat this up my nose starts running going to eventually
harder than it looks. Prickly. <laughs> That's a word. I didn't say that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So I got it on that first one to get all the bubbles out. Just lay it on there and then just slowly start swiping it in. And it just came right in and there's no bubbles. All 
All right, so I'm gonna, now I've done two, so it's going pretty well. So I'm gonna fast forward these next two. Actually, I'm just gonna shut it off because after that, they have to sit for hours. So um, I'll be back when I go to put the pigments on. All right, y'all, I uh, <laughs> totally forgot to hit record. I'm so bad about this. I get so excited to do stuff and I forget, but I just used this brush, brushed the stuff in there, the pigments in there, and then um, I used some counter culture DIY because I wanted to see it. I did this two hours ago and put the uh, fast set on these and use the system three. Y'all know I love that. And uh, I unmolded one already. <laughs> and then I remember Garrick saying, I want to see you unmold some, so here we go. Holy cow. And let me tell you, when I use this to poke the uh, cellophane, down on the corners, it made it really, really difficult for me to get the plastic out. And so there's actually still some plastic in here. You can't really see it, so that's awesome. But, uh, so I have a lot of sanding to do around the edges. Let me tell you what I need. And I bought this nail drill. And so, it has a foot pedal or a hand motion and you can uh, change the different speed of it. And this thing is so perfect to hold it at an angle and you never hit the side or the top and it gets it absolutely perfectly. This thing, I love this thing and it was like $60 maybe on Amazon. So, just wanna show y'all that. So let's, um, and this is the uh, Plum's the Word, which is crazy because look at the color, it's, it's plum, but it's gold and green, greenish blue. up um still a little bendy but this is the last set so all right don't be completely cured by tomorrow what? oh and this one's just black with a little bit of hint of that color so this one I actually I made an ashtray out of this it's more of the green, so I like this better when it doesn't have the black behind it. It's just the um, just the pigment versus the black behind it. Oh my gosh! And this is the sparkling jade. And I uh, messed up and was trying to pull this off, and I pulled a piece out. So that would actually be really pretty if that able to go around the edges yeah so this is absolutely nuts so I cannot wait to do all the other colors that I have of these chameleon paints so I will definitely be making these again and next time I won't push the um, cellophane uh, down so hard in the corners that made it pretty difficult to pull it out. And like I said, I left some in there, but you can't see it, so it's fine. In fact, you could probably just even leave the cellophane on there and just paint the back of the cellophane and then 
pour your resin in and cut your edges off and you would never, you'd never know the difference. So yeah, that's pretty nuts. I don't know who thought of this. I don't know if this was Julie's idea or not, but I love it. So I'm, what I'm gonna do next time is I do these, I'm going to, um, Try to make a swirl pattern in the cellophane and just other patterns with the cellophane and not just this but yeah that's pretty nuts so yeah thanks for watching and i will have that um ocean charcuterie cheese board uploaded hopefully within the next week or two thanks for watching